All right, we have got a completed model. We've got both our parts in here. It's looking pretty solid. So let's go ahead and make a drawing for this thing. So create a drawing. I'll stay on ANZ A. That sounds good. We're going to clean up this title box. I don't want the whole thing. So I'm going to push escape right away, select all these lines down here, and push the delete key. And I kept my scale down there. It, let's delete that thing too, whatever that is. Now, let's go ahead and insert. And we need to click this flat pattern icon right there. And then if I look at the flat pattern for our handle. And right now it's 1 to 6. Not what I want. I want flat pattern 1 to 2. So let's go 1 to 2. It's going to fit on there. And we could also do this later. But I'm going to place that there. After I'm done, I'm going to push escape and double click on it. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so it fits on the paper the way I want it to. So 90 degrees there. And then I'm going to drag it into place. I want it down here at the bottom. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go show, hide. And I'm going to hide the bend notes. I want all those extra words on there. All right, now let's go grab the handle or the scoop part and let's get the flat pattern showing and notice it won't show up unless you have that checked flat pattern there we go and looking at the top this might be the right one yep good to go and let's go and push escape right click on it we will hide bend notes again okay so we hide our bend notes then let's see are we doing this in the video and we'll do that on the next one. So we're we're pretty good here. We'll get on to the next one later. So we've got our flat patterns. We'll dimension them up later and we're gonna get a detail and an isometric of the whole thing as well. Alright, let's do it.